welcome everyone today we'll be preparing barbecue cauliflower dish I'll just show you the different items that I need for this dish first we'll we have here a medium size cauliflower I already cut them up just to save on time yeah I cut them up into different slices okay um this is almond milk i use the unsweetened one right and as you can see inside they already pour some inside because i kind of pre-start the dish just to save one time okay and i use the all-purpose season about two tablespoon full right because it's unsweetened and um a little chili powder barbecue sauce i use about um half cup or to a cup right yeah depending on how much you want on your cauliflower okay i have here parsley oil for the frying and um sweet pepper this is fine okay i'm gonna use a little flour to base the cauliflower so we'll just get right into it Pouring our oil, so we'll now start to fry our cauliflower. So, what we'll do, we'll actually remove them from the fluid one at a time and put them in the flour and base, just like how you do your chicken. Base it like that. What you do, just remove the excess flour because you don't want to mess up your oil. Then you'll just place them in the pot. The oil is ready. Okay, so if you um you're gonna test them at each time to see if they are ready to turn because remember these are not meat, they are vegetables, so you have to pay close attention to them and turn them at intervals. And once you see this nice brownish color coming on, so that suggests um this side is ready. So what I'll do, I'll just do the other side. And then I'll just remove a think about. So I'm gonna continue to check the cauliflower at intervals because you don't want to burn them or dry them out. Want to feel them a little softish and of that nice brownish color, then you know they soon be ready. You want to ensure that they are soaked as well. Okay, so our cauliflower is ready. We're going to remove from the pot and drain. We're going to put it on fuel and towel just to get rid of the excess oil. So these are ready. Aren't these looking like chicken or your fish? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we're going to prepare our sauce, our barbecue sauce, right, for the cauliflower that we just fried. So what I'll be doing, just cut a small piece of the sweet pepper, the bell pepper. Slice, slice of the bell pepper, just very thin pieces. Very thin pieces. Very thin. You can use the green one or the yellow if of your choice or the orange. It's up to you. I use the red because that's what I have now. A piece of five minutes. It's just the leaves. The part of the leaf I just I put in the sauce. So only part of the leaf. Then I add a little parsley, chili, and the barbecue sauce. At this time, all of our ingredients inside the bowl so we're just going to stir and merge all together this is how it looks and then that's it okay so um, we are all set our cauliflower fried. This is how it looks when um, after you finish frying it and kind of um, getting rid of some of the oil, the excess, excess oil. Alright, so I'm going to show you how inside looks. So I'm just going to break it. Does that look like tilapia or fish fillet to you? Isn't it? Very soft. Okay, you could choose to eat the cauliflower just like this, or you could make another sauce, or it could be a curry sauce. I use barbecue sauce today, but you could make other sauces for it. I just eat it just like that. Even to make a sandwich or a burger with it as well. So you would place the cauliflower um, in between your, um, your bread and um, you know add the other stuff and to make the burger all right. right let's merge our cauliflower with the sauce okay so we are finished Putting on our sauce and the barbecue cauliflower. That's it. 